Hey everybody, Pete Blank here for this week's edition of Pete's Points in Exarbon Village. Exarbon Village here in Omaha, Nebraska. It's a really nice little place where you can live, work, shop, play, eat, all those things. In fact, just behind me is the um, Exarbon Cinema, you know, and then there's the Exarbon Nails over there. You know, well, some of you are saying, well, that name sounds a little backwards. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Well, it is backwards. Exarbon is Nebraska spelled backwards. Well, what in the world does this have to do with you as a leader? Well, here's my takeaway for you today. There are times as a leader when you have to go backwards. There are times as a leader when you have to go backwards. Let me give you an example. Um, where I work a few years ago, we rolled out a brand new computer system and it was not working. It was not working at all. And we had some people go to the higher ups and say, hey, let's turn this down, let's pull it off, let's bring it back. And they kept saying, no, push forward, push forward. And we had a lot of problems with it. Here's what we have to do sometimes. Like Bruce Springsteen says, one step up and two steps back. It's okay in your organization if you have to stop and move backwards. That's why cars have reverse on them. Cars can't always go forwards, they have to go backwards. Now, if you're constantly moving backwards, then you're failing. But there are times when you as a leader need to stop in your organization, whether it's based on a process, whether it's based on uh, customer complaints, where you can actually stop and say, hey, turn this thing off, let's go back to the drawing board, let's go backwards, Go back to the drawing board, square one, start over, redo it, two days, two weeks, two months, whatever it takes, and then roll it back out. Never be so hard-headed that you're like, we're pushing forward, I know it's failing, but we've invested too much, we're pushing forward. No, sometimes it's okay to go backwards. Just like it's okay to spell Nebraska backwards and get Exarbon. Pretty cool. All right, that's all from cold Omaha. We'll see you next time on Pete's Points.